I'm sorry, this video is not about copulating with arcs of colors. It's about rainbows in religion and science. The Bible says God created the rainbow as a promise or covenant that God would never again destroy the world. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I set my rainbow in the cloud and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. It shall be when I bring a cloud over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud and I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. The water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. The rainbow shall be in the cloud and I will look on it to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on earth. Does this mean that there won't be a rapture? Granted, we're not sure exactly how God would prefer to destroy the world. The book of Revelation vaguely mentions a flood, but it also mentions earthquakes and a flock of other calamities. But Harold Camping, the leader of the May 21st Judgment Day movement, is pretty clear about this. That's what I wanted to ask you today. Do you think there's a chance if the people beg that God could change his mind, like the people in Nineveh? I, I can the answer that. The answer is absolutely not. God has given us the whole scenario and there's nothing in there that prophesies that the whole peoples of the world will be sitting humbly before God as the Ninevites were. And most of the world is it's going to be like in the days of Noah. Really, Mr. Camping? This rapture will be like Noah's flood, regardless of the rainbow? Fucking rainbows! How do they work? It's just there in the air. Let's now address the truth about the rainbows, and then we'll come back to the lies. What is a rainbow? A rainbow is an arc full of colors that is caused by the refraction of light through a medium, say water, as in rain. This is explained by physics, just like the tide goes in, tide goes out, and there's nothing supernatural about it. Pretty? Yes. Supernatural? No. Hot day, July 6, 2007, about 4.30 p.m. I'm just wondering what the heck is in our water supply? What the heck is in our oxygen supply of the me metallic oxide salt that create a rainbow effect in a sprinkler? What is oozing out of our ground? that allows this type of effect to happen. Not just around our sun and our moon anymore. Everywhere we look, the visible spectrum is rainbow. This cannot be natural. We all know it wasn't something that happened 20 years ago, but now it's happening now. We as a nation have got to ask ourselves, what the hell is going on? What is oozing out of our ground? We've already seen the first reference to a rainbow in the Bible. This begs the question, before the flood, were there no rainbows whatsoever? I suppose that God could have just suspended the laws of physics for about 2,000 years until the flood, but this is just silly and not supported by scriptures. Another explanation says that the air was full of vapor or mist, and there was just no rain, and that rainbows were just not apparent. But this is bullshit. You can't have air hold humidity for 2,000 years. Also, rainbows can be seen in mist, vapor, fog, just as well as in rain. Same with the mist coming from waterfalls. Same with rainbows seen in clouds. Water is water is water. Anyone who says there were no rainbows before the flood is just lying to himself. There are also rainbow references in the Bible in the book of Revelation. And he who sat there had the appearance of Jasper and Carnelian, 
and around the throne was a rainbow that had the appearance of an emerald. Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, wrapped in a cloud, with a rainbow over his head, and his face was like the sun, and his legs like pillars of fire. The obvious thing to say about this is someone has been using a lot of drugs. It is often gossiped that on the island of Patmos, where John of Patmos wrote the book of Revelation, there are lots of magic mushrooms, but that could have been just an urban legend, I'm not sure. Whoa, that's a full rainbow all the way. Double rainbow, oh my god. It's a double rainbow all the way. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Whoa! Oh! Wow! Woo! Yeah! It's starting to even look like a triple rainbow. Oh my god! It's full on! Double rainbow all the way across the sky! Oh my god! What does this mean? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Christians are not the only ones whose holy texts talk about the rainbow. The Greek god Iris left a rainbow behind her wherever she flew. Hindus say that the rainbow is the bow used by Indra, the king of the gods. For the Norse mythology, a rainbow is a path between Asgard and Midgard. Other religions have distinct explanations about the rainbow. The Quran doesn't mention the rainbow at all. I guess Mohammed was more concerned about other things, like punishing the infidels. Lastly, the fact that God would have decided to use the rainbow as a symbol for anything, knowing in advance that later this symbol would be appropriated by homosexuals, is interesting. Could it be that God is a closeted gay? <laughs>